Hey guys, it's Milma here and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial you're going to learn how to use NS Invocation and what NS Invocation is all about. And uh, this is a sort of a follow-on tutorial from my custom methods tutorial down here. Um, you can go watch that if you want to, but it's not necessary to understand what this tutorial is about. So uh, we're going to create a new project here. I'm going to speed all this up, so see you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and what I'm going to do is write two little methods, uh, helper methods and uh, I'm going to cut this bit out and explain to you later because I've tried to do this tutorial so many times and I've run over time by miles so hopefully you'll understand and I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back and as you can see I've set up a few things here. I'm going to quickly go over them. So I've got this new method here that called log this and it will log a string and it will log an integer as you can see here. At the same time it will also log our array here which we, I've just made a, a quick array. Um, and you can see I've made this method here set a bit in vocations that's the method we're going to be working on today and I over here in the view did load I initialize my array and I uh, call the setup invocations method and this is just a little example to show you what we'll be fixing today. So as you can see, I want to call my method log this every 10 seconds. The problem is I can't actually pass any parameters into this log this method. So what we're going to be learning is how to use NS invocation to overcome this problem and actually log every 10 seconds, but also uh, put parameters into it. So without further ado, let's get going. So we're going to go into the setup invocations method here I'm going to create something called a method signature and this will basically create a ghost method that the invocation can use so we're going to uh, type in ns method signature here and this is going to be uh, sig1 because we're going to have two of them uh, and what we're going to do here we're going to put in self now it doesn't always have to be self and that will become clear later but it's self refers to the object that contains the method so we're going to type method for signature and then we're going to choose the method and that's going to be log this now as you know self which is us which is view controller contains the method log this that's why i put self there because self contains the method log this now i want to create a method that will also add an object to my array but i want to do it every 10 seconds so I need to use the add object method. So to do that, I need to use get an NS method signature of the add object method. But that add object method is not in self. It's in the NS mutable array class. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use NS mutable array and we're going to type in instance method for signature. So it's slightly different. And then we're going to grab the add object method from there. So it's as simple as that. So that's our two methods that we've got, log this and add object. Now we need to create our invocation objects. So uh, we're going to have to create two of them. So ns invocation inv1, and that equals ns invocation, invocation, invocation with method signature. And this is going to be the first method signature. So all this does is create a new ns invocation object that we can then use and this is going to be inv2 and that's going to contain the other signature sig2 so this basically passes in the signatures so invocation knows about these methods here so the next thing we need to do is set the targets and the target is what object the method uh, invocation is going to send the method to so for the first signature we want to send this method to the view controller and tell view controller to do this method so we're going to go inv1 set target and it's going to be self because that's us we want we want the method the other invocation is going to send the method add object it wants the array to to add object so we're going to set target my array instead now i hope that makes sense uh, if not just ask in the comments if you don't understand the next thing we need to do is set the selector so the selector is very similar to this it's what method the invocation is going to be doing so set selector and the first one is going to be doing the log this selector 
And what this basically does is turns this ghost method now into a proper method. Now it knows what it's calling. So we're going to go in 2 and yep, it's going to be the add object selector. So like that. Now what we need to do is create the things we're going to send into the uh, parameters. So we're going to create the string that goes here and the integer that goes here and the object that goes there. So these are basically going to be variables that we're going to pass in. So the first one is going to be a string because that, that goes here. So it's going to be an NS string and that can equal uh, 25 just for whatever's sake. Uh, the next thing we need to do is create an integer. So that can be uh, int i equals 5. And the other thing we need to do is create an object that goes after here. So that can be, uh, what about, a, no, we'll just make a new string. And we'll call this array. And this will be array string. Okay, so now what we need to do is let invocation know about these new parameters and tell it where to put them in this method or this method. So I'm going to type it all out and you're probably going to look at me like I'm crazy but it will all work and it will all make sense so I'll be back in a minute. Guys, uh, I'm back and as you can see I've written a couple of lines here including this line here um, and basically uh, this sets the parameters for this method. They, this is what these two lines do, they set the two parameters for this one and this one sets the parameters for this one here. Now let me walk you through this a little bit. So the at index method is what number parameter you want to set. Do you want to set the first parameter, the second parameter, the third parameter, the fourth parameter, and so on. So as you can see here I've written two, and that, believe it or not, actually sets the first parameter, and three sets the second parameter, and if you were to write four, it would set the third parameter. Now the reason this is, is because the, the objects zero and one, the uh, sorry, the indexes 0 and 1 are actually already taken by the NS invocation class itself. So we can't actually use them, so we start at 2. So the first object is 2, second object is 3. So that's kind of explaining that bit. Now you're probably thinking, why have I written AND STR instead of just STR? Well, uh, if I actually delete that there, you will see that we'll get a warning, and then eventually it will crash, because I'm trying to send in an int when it's expecting a void. So I'm actually supposed to set send a void into this argument here. And uh, what that basically means is it wants you to send in a pointer. And a pointer is basically something that points at an object and gives you its value. It doesn't actually give you the object, it just gives you the value of the object. So to kind of show that a bit clearer, what a pointer actually is, is this little method here. As you can see, we have a string here, which is str, exactly the same as this one up here. But instead of equaling 25, it actually just returns 25. So it just gives you the string. It doesn't, it doesn't give you the object, it just gives you the value of the object. So as you can see, uh, if I delete this here, because we have this str method down here, uh, it doesn't give us a warning. So if I just return it back to normal here, Hopefully that clears things up, but basically it turns it into a pointer instead. So now what we need to do is actually invoke the methods, tell them to do something. There are two ways of doing this. It's inv1invoke, which will do the method. So it will basically send this method to this object with these parameters. And it will just do it once. However, if we want to do it multiple times, like we do up here with this timer, we can use another timer, ns timer. Uh, scheduled timer with interval and this time it's going to be with invocation. I want to do it every two seconds. I want it to do inv2 because that's the one we want to add objects to and repeat yes. I'm going to do the same again but for inv1 uh, because I want to see the logs to see if it's actually working correctly. So this basically does invocation2 which does this method to this object with this parameter. So if we build and run here, you will see that we'll get logs in the log, <laughs> which makes sense. So if we look up here, you can see there's the first log, absolutely nothing. Then it adds an object, then it adds two objects because it's already got one, then it adds three, adds again, and then adds again, and then adds again, and then adds again. 
So there you go, guys. That is how you use NS invocations to get over kind of uh, problems like this where you can't actually use parameters. And it was also showing you a little way you can use it to, uh, you know, add objects to arrays or use methods in other objects. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you've got any problems, just post them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Apps. So thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.